Our next case is Robinson versus California. And it raises the initial question, what was the crime for which the defendant was convicted under California law? Now, the statute, the California statute, made it a misdemeanor punishable by imprisonment for any person to be addicted to the use of narcotics. Addicted to the use of narcotics. Now, the next question is, what constitutional rights were at issue in this case? And very often you're going to find that the Constitution, the United States Constitution, is key to uh, your area of, the area of law that you're studying uh, regarding criminal law. And in this case, the area was whether or not this statute was an infliction of cruel and unusual punishment in violation of the Eighth and Fourteenth Amendments of the United States Constitution. So, so th there are constitutional issues that are involved in when we were discussing these criminal cases. And uh, the next question, did the defendant, uh, was the defendant addicted to the use of drugs, was the defendant addicted to the use of narcotics uh, in this case? And that's what this case is all about because uh, what, what it, it begs the next question, what evidence was there that this defendant had used any, any narcotics? And what you find in this case is that there was expert testimony by police officers. And these police officers say that they noticed certain physical signs on the, on the defendant. They noticed some needle marks. They noticed uh, scar tissue. And they are experienced street cops. And you know they, they have experience in, in matters concerning uh, drug use and such. And it was their opinion that based on, on, on what they observed by, by this particular defendant, that he had, uh, he, he was in fact in violation of the statute because in their opinion, he was in fact addicted to the use of narcotics. So he was arrested and, and convicted on, on that basis and his case went up to the United States Supreme Court. So uh, the next question we asked was, what is the difference between use of narcotics and addiction to narcotics? What is the difference between use of narcotics and addiction to narcotics? And the, the Supreme Court makes uh, the distinction because the, the Supreme Court says, well, look, in, you know, in one case, when you're talking about um, the, the, the use of nar narcotics, you're talking about a, a, a substantive act. You're, 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 the use of narcotics is an act, whereas the addiction is what they call a status or a condition. And the court said, you know, we, we, we must distinguish between, between those two. So what result? What do, what do we have here? What, what did, how did the court, the Supreme Court come out in this? What, what did the court have to say? And basically the court said several things that are very important to criminal law. I mean, the court goes to, uh, to makes the effort of saying, look, the states have very broad, you know, power, police power to regulate narcotics within their borders. And that there are many things that the states can do to uh, control drug traffic, and you know, there's no question that they can uh, regulate administration, sale, prescription, and use of dangerous and habit-forming drugs. You know, they, 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 the court goes on to identify many things that, that the, the state can do in terms of health care and health, you know, uh, drug prevention and, and things of that nature. Uh, but the court had trouble with what they considered uh, these kinds of status crimes, where the, the, the very s your status as a, as a certain you know, having a certain condition. It, status or condition situation is 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 uh, unlawful, uh, and the court makes this analogy where a person having a certain disease, you know, maybe leprosy or something like that, uh, certainly uh, the, if if a, if a state decided that it wanted to make that person uh, criminally uh, 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 subject to, to to the violation of crime, uh, would be, be considered, you know, that would be cruel and unusual punishment because we. We in our society have a, have a you know, we, we, we're troubled by uh, uh, finding people guilty of crime based on their particular condition. And that was the, the situation in this situation, in, the, in this case, where uh, the, uh, the, the constitutional issues were raised. Were, were raised. And uh, the court said that uh, we, we, we find that, you know, it's, it's basically the, the, the same situation as as a person having a, a medical or, or, or Ill condition. Whereas 
here you, you're saying the court has, the, the state of California has said that we are, we are finding, we, we, it is our determination, it is, it, is against, it is against our laws for you to be addicted to uh, narcotics. And the court said that, you know, this could, thus, a, though, thus, afflict, thus afflicted as a criminal, even though he has never touched any narcotic drug within the state, or been guilty of any irregular behavior there, the court, the, the, the state is inflicting a cruel and unusual punishment in violation of the 14th Amendment. So that's what the, the, the Supreme Court said. They said, look, uh, you, you, you cannot find a person, you're, you're violating a person's constitutional rights when you find him uh, guilty of a, state, of a state crime based on his status and condition. And that was how the Supreme Court ruled. 